Exactly 50 years ago, we flew by Mars, getting our first ever up-close look at another planet. Today, another milestone. The New Horizons spacecraft passed right by Pluto. Three, two, one. There was a lot of excitement when the flyby began this morning. The real close-up stuff will be out tomorrow, but NASA did release this, an image New Horizons took nearly 500,000 kilometers away, the clearest one yet. Our national science correspondent Bob McDonald was there as it happened. He joins us from Maryland. So, Bob, pretty exciting. You've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Everyone's been waiting for it for a long time, Wendy. It's uh, nine years uh, just to get to Pluto, years before that to build the spacecraft. And, uh, you know, we've been to all the other planets in the solar system except Pluto, and so they're finally here. So now we've been to every classic planet, even though Pluto isn't a planet anymore, and it sort of completes our our re reconnaissance of the solar system. This is history in the making, where we go someplace to explore a new world for the very first time. And uh, that's why everyone was so excited this morning, because you only do that once. And tomorrow we'll start seeing data from the flyby, a lot more. What can we expect to see? Well, we're, uh, one of the scientists here today said there's going to be a waterfall of data come down. As good as the pictures are that we've seen so far, they're nothing compared to what's going to happen. They're going to get so close that we'll be able to see tiny little details, the equivalent of flying over Toronto Harbour and seeing the buildings. Uh, we're going to see Pluto in colour, we're going to see what it's made of, we're going to see its atmosphere, we're going to see it from the night side. And uh, so it's, it's really going to get everything we know. There are seven instruments on board this spacecraft, and they're going to find out everything they can about this planet before zooming on to perhaps other objects like it out there in space. Yeah, so beyond Pluto, what is there? What's the next mission for New Horizons? Well, the reason Pluto is no longer a planet is because it turns out it's one of a whole field of sort of big snowballs that are out there beyond Neptune. And uh, there's thousands of them, maybe even millions, and they're hoping to pass by at least one more of those with this same spacecraft. The spacecraft itself can actually keep running until about 2030. So they're hoping to do one more encounter and see whether or not Pluto is unique or whether they're all like that. Um, we still have a lot of surprises to come, Wendy. Thanks so much, Bob.